Hey, it's me Rishikesh Kannan, popularly known as Rishi K. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon now to get the latest videos and get taken into our world of entertainment, culture, sport, business and current affairs. I want to understand, were you at any point in your life ever tempted to sit for an MBBS entrance exam? You know, uh, all of us 90s kids, early 2000 kids were always told by our parents, try and get into medical, try and get into engineering. Or were you far removed from the medical world? Uh, just curious to know while you were growing up. Uh, no, I wasn't far removed at all. I was very much in the middle of it. And uh, of course, uh, uh, my sister, uh, the one elder to me, uh, joined the FMC, you know, uh, before, like almost four or five years before I passed out. And uh, of course, so so we had a doctor already. So I'm sure she felt a lot of, she, I don't know if she truly felt a lot of pressure to be a doctor or, you know, it was a mix of, I want to, you know, there is this very unsaid um, uh, expectation of the family saying, a doctor to hona chahiye family mein. You know, it's a, it's a very, I think it's a very Indian thing. A doctor to hona chahiye, you know. So, wo ban chuki thi. so there was no such pressure on me, no such pressure on me that I had to take. But I think I was like, I think I many of my ego pe and I was like, ek exam to dena banta hai yaar. I mean, I I had ki matlab kam se kam at least I can say ki maine exam diya tha, you know. And um, of course, I went into it. Uh, I was very good with uh, I think biology and English were the only two subjects which saved me in twelfth. Otherwise, so I was a I think I would have failed. I was so bad at all the other subjects. So I was like, biology to achhi hai, kuch kar sakte hai, you know. So I gave the exam without any preparation. I was not the kind to sit and study for hours ever. And of course, nothing had to come out of it. But uh, I truly believed, uh, and I say this sometimes as a joke, but sometimes more seriously, that if I didn't have to study so much to pass that exam. I would be an amazing doctor. I, I think I have all the traits to be an amazing doctor. It's the study part that I can't do. Kirti Kulhari, lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too, Rishike. And you're looking and a million bucks. We are, we are bucks. competing in the uh, banks department. <laughs> in the banks department. <laughs> Your bangs are far more gorgeous and beautiful than mine can ever be, my darling. <laughs> I'm just so thrilled to see you on the roads, biking. You really are a superwoman, I have to tell you that. I mean, who said male stereotypes uh, can't be broken in the year 2021? You've gone on to do that with your roles and here you are breaking them with your real life. How does it feel to be a biker? It feels pretty cool, man. I must admit, like... I really like never thought that, I mean, I'm a very good driver. I have, you know, uh, how do you say it? Do you say ridden scooters or you yeah. say ridden? ridden you, never say, you never say drive. When so you're a biker, you say ride. Yeah. yeah, yeah. you only say uh, ride. Yeah, so yeah. I've ridden scooters and scooties and all of that. So I'm very good with two wheelers, but uh, bike is something which is very new. And I was like, I don't know. It just happened. Like a lot of things that are happening in my life, it just happened to me that... I think the thought came mainly from the fact that I want to do a bike trip in Ladakh and um, which came from the fact that I have a lot of motion sickness, okay, in the hills. So I don't want to be in a car. I want to be, you know, in on a bike. And I'm like, if I'm going to be on a bike, I don't want to be sitting behind someone's back, you know. I want to be riding it myself. So here I am practicing for Ladakh 2022. For those of you who are living under a rock, Go check out uh, I am Kirti Kulhari on Instagram and you'll see these lovely pictures and videos of her on her Royal Enfield. It's a heavy motorcycle and I'm sure, you know, the exhaust sometimes decides to punish its owner. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's punishing me too often, I must say. It's been 10 days since I bought the, bought the bike and uh, it happened on the first day, which is understandable. And then I have still not recovered from that mark. And today I was just getting off the bike. I came to, you know, uh, came to work on the bike again, off it. And there it was. And I was like, damn. But, um, you know, as I was telling you, it's the marks of love. You know, when you're, when you're truly in love, it leaves you wounded as well. And uh, you carry those uh, marks on your body, like with all the, like, it's like, it's yours, you know. So I really don't mind them. Others would call them love bites too. So that's fine. <laughs> I would say bike bites. Yes. Lovely. Bike bites. 
Uh, I'm so excited by human because of the nature of the premise and the subject. I mean, it's not a spoiler to say that it talks about human trials and they are obviously closer than we think they are, uh, Kirti, because we always think of Africa and we hear of cases of how, uh, you know, greater Africa, the interiors of Africa have been used for testing of drug trials. People have been screaming themselves horse but it's happening in India. I'd like to talk you to talk about the premise and how it drew you, because I know you're a thinking actor, and for you, that's very important. Um, exactly. I mean, Rishike, when I first uh, got approached for this last October, uh, Vipul called me and I read, uh, he, he told me the premise of the, you know, the story, and I said, I want to read, and I started reading. I read the first episode, first five episodes, actually. And I was truly hooked to it, you know, uh, of course, because the premise is something that I have not heard of before. I mean, I um, not that I take a lot of pride in calling myself very well informed, uh, but um, I mean, being an actor, the kind of stuff I've done, it, it, it you know, makes me uh, uh, get into a lot of different worlds, you know, and, and see the see it from all perspectives. But this is, I mean, I know of drug trials. I had probably just vaguely heard of humans being used for drug trials. But I think um, I was, I mean, I really had no clue in terms of the, uh, the darkness that kind of exists, uh, you know, in this um, in this world, you know, where humans are actually used for drug trials. And it is, you know, I, I really believe that there is no black and white, like there is so much of gray, like world is made of gray. So even when you get into the world of drug trials, and if you say that, um, if there's one side to it saying that, uh, oh, people are being, you know, uh, used and uh, human lives are treated like, um, you know, um, other animal lives, they're used as gunny, you know, guinea pigs for kind of um, doing this. You also see how people also voluntarily, you know, go into it, you know, knowing, uh, not knowing enough sometimes, but sometimes knowing everything, you know, it's, it's, uh, so you are, so you, you are seeing this world and you will see this world in human from all these perspectives, you know, how different, uh, uh, different, uh, not people, I would say, but different organizations are involved in different ways. So it's a new world for sure. And I think a world that, um, I mean, I truly believe that this is the point that when you are, you know, creating cinema, when you're creating um, new series or films or whatever, talk about new things, you know, talk about things that we generally um, don't care to know enough about or don't want to you know we are we're also very happy living in denial you know we we as we as a race are are so as a society are so comfortable in in that space of ignorance is bliss you know because because the world out there is not so um, you know uh, not as rosy as you sometimes want to believe it to be so that completely attracted me to this and of course not just um, this basic idea of the show uh, but it's about you know for me everything is about people people is what make everything you know um, it's the quality of people it's their lives it's their complexity so for me my character Dr. Saira Sabarwal was also someone so um, I mean it was, it was such a well-written a layered, complex, complicated show, and you know, with so much going on, that I was like, I would be stupid to not take this up because there is so much coming together for me as an actor in that script, you know. Uh, and uh, really, like, um, what I like about the trailer personally is the fact that while it leaves you curious and intrigued, you still are left with a lot of questions in your head, you know, and um, I must say that there is so much happening in the show from every time you move from one scene to another and one episode to another, you are just going to be um, loaded with so much, uh, you know, uh, so much, so much uh, masala, you know, um, in terms of emotions, in terms of storylines, in terms of uh, uh, themes of different characters so it's it's just there's so much that uh, the show would be offering and it's I think it's it's something that was difficult to achieve for us as actors and makers but um, 
if it if it's achieved in the way uh, we believe it is i think people are going to have a good time watching it yeah you're right about how some people innocently agree to be part of human trials there's a portion in the trailer where this boy turns around and says vaccine se bhi aisa kuch hota hai and obviously something's gone horribly wrong i want to understand were you at any point in your life ever tempted to sit for an mbbs entrance exam you know uh, all of us 90s kids early 2000 kids were always told by our parents try and get into medical try and get into engineering or were you far removed from the medical world uh just curious to know while you were growing up uh no i wasn't far removed at all i was very much in the middle of it and uh, of course uh, uh, my sister uh, the one elder to me uh, joined the fmc you know uh, before like almost 4 5 years before i passed out and uh, of course so so we had a doctor already so i'm sure she felt a lot of she i don't know if she truly felt a lot of pressure to be a doctor or you know it was a mix of i want to you know there is this very unsaid um uh, expectation of the family saying ek doctor to hona chahiye family mein you know it's a, it's a very i think it's a very indian thing ek doctor to hona chahiye you know so wo ban chuki thi so there was no such pressure on me no such pressure on me that i had to take but i think i was like i think i maine apne ego pe le liya i was like ek exam to dena banta hai yaar i mean i i had ki matlab kam se kam early second se ki maine exam diya tha you know and um, of course i went into it uh, i was very good with uh, i think biology and english were the only two subjects which saved me in 12th otherwise so i was a i think i would have failed i was so bad at all the other subjects so i was like biology to achhi hai kuch kar sakte hai you know so i gave the exam without any preparation i was not the kind to sit and study for hours ever and of course nothing had to come out of it but uh, i truly believed uh, and i say this sometimes is a joke but sometimes more seriously that if i didn't have to study so much to pass that exam i would be an amazing doctor i i think i have all the traits to be an amazing doctor it's the study part that i can't do so um that is my little thing with the doctor but here i am <laughs> i've been a pilot like i'm so fascinated by pilots and i was like pilot is out of the list ye ho gaya i am a doctor so i'm like come on i think i'm in the best position ki bina padhai kiye mai vicariously mai <laughs> vicariously <laughs> now why i ask that question is because there are different types of doctors i have no doubt that you have compassion and sensitivity at your core i've known you for so long and uh, you know that is an amazing quality for a doctor doctors have purity of purpose but just like a lot of other professions there are doctors who need for the greed and making of money and now there is a third breed that has come up in india which is what the vyapam scam and other scams have thrown up which is entrance exams are being manipulated and uh, under qualified or ill equipped doctors are being out there with degrees and uh, you know obviously that means they are playing with people's lives so what kind of doctor is is saira your character is she driven by purity of purpose and the truth is she driven by by business or greed could you give us an insight uh a little bit inside of course i could give you uh, i think uh, saira is a if you if you've categorized it like so well she is in the pure doctor space she is somebody who who is one of those people who wanted to become a doctor because she truly wanted to reach out she truly wanted to help you know and i think that also um, as um, in the background of the show comes a lot from seeing her father who's a compounder you know who has been a compounder um, i think that that sense of him you know reaching out to everyone and 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 also the um, you know it's 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 very um, i mean when you get into the like in the preparation stage when you talk to doctors and you you know you look at different aspects of your character it's like the validation you get you know when when you are helping someone when you're treating a patient and they become okay the validation you get the respect you get is so huge and we as a race are very very are highly motivated and driven by validation you know in different forms in different ways so um I think she's someone who decided very early on in her life uh, as a child that you know what I want to be a doctor I want to help people and um, at the same time you know she's somebody who also is aware of this whole messiah complex that um, uh, doctors carry 
you know, which is the, that's what I'm saying, Rishike, like when I was, when I was preparing for it, and this is what I love about my job, uh, the, when I, when I get into the psychology or understanding uh, different people, you know, and uh, in this case, uh, the doctors in general, like, you know, of course you arrive at a certain understanding by talking to say 10 different doctors, you know, because uh, while the profession is noble, um, as we, as you just mentioned, it's the, it's the people, uh, who matter and who change the definition of, um, the, uh, who can, who can mess around with the, uh, nobility of the profession. So, um, uh, so yeah, she's, she's someone who's, who's, she's, she's very, uh, she's someone with, a uh, high amount of integrity towards a profession. She's someone who is who is after the truth. I mean, she she is she will always support the right thing, you know. And um, at the same time, there is this another side to her, which is uh, which I have actually seen uh, in my real life, where people are, can be two different people in their professional life. So sure. it's so, so that the circle around them professionally would be like would have a different. Uh, perception of that person and then the person would be something else in their personal life and I think Saira kind of really um, uh, like she is that it's almost like a split personality you know and I think uh, I mean I can't talk much about the personal angle but uh, once you see the show you'll be like and I think that is the that is the dichotomy that is the conflict that is the that is the, um, you know, the, uh, that's where she gets torn, you know, and I, I think that's where the drama is because, you know, and so, so, so she is someone who is uh, um, trying to do the right thing all the time, at the same time, not able to do the right thing in, in her more, more in her personal life. And uh, I think somebody who is as flawed, like, like there is also this series throws a lot of light on the fact that doctors are doctors are also humans yeah, you know totally. they have their own shit too like you know um and how how difficult it can be for doctors to kind of make this what they do uh, as doctors separate from who they are you know for them to not come together so it's so it's it's a very i mean it's uh, the the series is called human rightly for a reason because Every there's there's everything every element in the show is human like it's about being human, and um, that's why I'm saying there's so much going on that and that's why Saira was Saira is the most complex character I have ever played on screen so far, and wow. um, it's 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 something that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, you know, uh, not giving any spoilers. Yeah, it's there in the trailer. You know, she's a serious you know, a doctor doing a purpose. Yeah. Uh, but then doctor. there is one scene, there is one scene when she's just taking off her clothes, having some fun in front of a, ca uh, in front of a screen, yeah. maybe. So Doctors yeah. have, have a life too. Have a life too. <laughs> Wait, why not? <laughs> Talking about love marks. <laughs> yeah. So there's lots to look forward to. Yeah. Uh, and I just don't mean, you know, from a unidimensional perspective. That, that is all you see. What you see in the trailer is all you get. Is all you get. Fair enough. Most department, we don't expect anything more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really fascinated by two strong women and actresses, beautiful women and actresses, Shafali Shah and yourself coming together to essay these parts. And, you know, I can't wait for the magic to unfold when the two of you get together to create your art. Those scenes, I'm sure, will, will be epic. Talk to me about working with Shafali. Uh, so one of... Also, uh, one of the main reasons I wanted to do the show was because of Shifali, because Shifali was playing Dr. Gorinath and was already, you know, on board before I was approached. And it really was, um, I mean, I, I don't get more thrilled uh, than by working with good actors. You know, for me, for me, it's like I have a long bucket list of the actors I have grown up, you know, watching and uh, admiring. And now that I'm here in the middle of it, it's like I have to tick mark all of them before I probably either leave this world or leave this profession. So she was really on, you know, one of the big uh, top names that I had. And, uh, and uh, I mean, of course, we, uh, you know, it's so funny, but as an actor, as a good actor, when you meet another good actor, 
it is it is the process is very simple because you don't have to bother about what they are doing you don't have to bother about what you are doing you just come in together you know with your own homework your own preparation now having said that me and shafali have very different uh, processes methods as an actor because i really like to observe uh, okay so what is uh, this person's process and how is this uh, person going about it so we are very different in terms of how we go about it uh, but the bottom line is uh, what are you finally delivering on screen you know and uh, we would just it is so um it's it's in, you know like also the team that we have the pull moses uh, who's also the co-writer of the uh, show with dishani banerji i mean i i think um, aadhe baal to in sab ke aise kam ho gaye because <laughs> me and shafali both are such hum log matlab aise jaan kha jate hain hum khoon pee jate hain in terms of the number of questions we have ये क्यों वैसे क्यों ऐसे क्यों वैसे क्यों लाइक दे आर लाइक ओ गॉड लाइक यू नो गॉड लाइक एक नहीं दो दो लाइक एंड यू नो लाइक टू एंड एंड नॉट लाइक टू पीपल हु कैन बी लाइक जो बैठो बस बहुत हो गया नहीं और बताओ और बताओ सो आई मीन इट वॉज वॉट आई वॉट आई रियली लाइक एंड वॉट आई एम रियली मूविंग टूवर्ड्स इज द फैक्ट इज इज द कोलेबोरेटिव कोलेबोरेटिव प्रोसेस दैट फिल्म मेकिंग ट्रूली इज you know and i think we are i am observing this movement happening from the you know the old way of ki ye script hai ye hai aap apna kaam karo bas chale jao zara sawal mat poocho to the fact that okay come let's discuss what is what do you think what do you know all of that so, and and i think that's exactly what it is so uh, me and shafali we would just uh, do our thing yaar come on the set and uh, it was also when you see saira and gauri you know who are who are uh, you know who are almost running parallelly who are running parallelly very different people from each other and when we come together to kind of shoot this it was it was very exciting for us uh, shefali is uh, not just a lovely actor she's um, it's like it's it's there are good actors also who are not very uh, giving who are who are like i should be the best you know but she's not like i think both of us just came together doing our thing she's fun she's uh, you know vipul was of course on the set uh, sometimes directing us and i would love watching them like their equation you know like as husband wife and actress uh, director on on the set and um, maza aaya she's very chilled out and knows her thing and it was i think and again her role is also so in, so amazing so complex so um I'm I'm Lovely. sure like people are going to be blown away by a lot of stuff in the show. Okay, my last question is about a show I'm doing called Climate Warrior. I'm saying oh. look at the air pollution in Delhi; it's gone through the roof. Our beaches and the Meeti mm-hmm. River in Bombay is so unclean. Uh, are we segregating our garbage? What can we do to save the planet, uh, Kirti? What are the Kolharis doing? What are you doing to save the planet? Uh, let's sign off with that. uh what am i doing uh, so to be honest rishiki i was segregating in my previous society but this current society that i'm in uh i was doing that for a first couple of months but uh i was told then that there's no point because everything goes together so i haven't taken a step towards that by talking to the society because society is getting into society politics is something that i honestly don't you know have the bandwidth for in terms of whatever uh what am i doing uh, you know i while while there is an effort we all put collectively uh, i have been a part of beach clean up uh, things before uh, but i think what uh, what matters is to change uh, change the uh, uh, thought process of people you know individually and while i i uh, believe and i know that it is not very practical to kind of go about uh changing and doing the things that a lot of people are doing you know where they where they have organizations who do these things i am in a different uh, space i'm i mean i do things in a i can't do that so what i do is i i firstly do i'm very mindful about all of this and more so i think mindfulness is something that i personally practice and anyone i come in touch with uh, i try and talk about this idea of mindfulness where you also think about the other it's as simple as you thinking about the other you know and uh, i guess as complex as that 
you know, thinking about the other sounds so simple, but I, it's not something that people often practice. And, uh, and I think, um, I mean, I, uh, I, I believe, uh, I believe in just, uh, it is a lifestyle change, you know, it is a change that you have to bring in on a daily basis in everything that you're doing where you are not wasting food, not wasting water, not wasting electricity, where you are uh, making sure that not just your house, but the outside of it is also clean. So um, I do these things. But uh, if you ask me if there is um, something on the big scale that I'm doing, uh, no, and my answer to that would be no. No, but we need to start small. I can't wait to watch Human, uh, Disney Plus Hot Star. Everybody, uh, got to see Kirti Kulhari deliver her magic. Thanks a lot. Take care of yourself and happy, happy riding. <laughs> happy and biking. happy New Year. You too, my dear. Take care. Thank you, Rishiki. Pleasure.